in this morning's New Zealand Herald headlines. The Human Rights Commission calls for urgent change in the police. Wellington Mayor Tori Farno's bid to be healthy after a turbulent year. And why our tallest landmarks made it into new scientific research. Ata Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear. It's Tuesday the 9th of January. The human rights watchdog is calling for urgent change after new figures show officers are more likely to use pain to subdue Māori suspects. Figures released to our newsroom show police resorted to the tactical use of pain to bring violent or resisting offenders under control more than 2,600 times since 2016. Māori account for 48% of cases. The Human Rights Commission has raised concerns with the Independent Police Conduct Authority. Police Association President Chris Cahill says police deal with people who are drunk, affected by drugs or suffering mental distress. To get them to comply, often to protect their own, themselves from injury, they have to use pain compliance. It's just one of the most serious things that police have to confront in their daily duties. Tauranga police have increased their presence in Bethlehem following an unexplained death in the area. A deceased woman was found in an Aria View property on Sunday night. Investigations and inquiries are underway. Wellington Mayor Tori Farno's ditched the stilettos for sneakers. She's become, in her words, one of those sickening gym cult type people attending body fit training and will soon move into her new townhouse that she bought off the plans. It comes after she admitted a problem with alcohol after being seen intoxicated in public, which sparked calls for her resignation. She's since vowed to give up alcohol and has sought professional help. In world news, a call for action as the number of Palestinian children receiving limb amputations averages 10 a day. Gaza hospitals are facing critical shortages of antibiotics, anaesthetics and medical supplies. Only 13 of the 36 hospitals remain partially functional. The majority are operating at three times their capacity. Save the Children says we need stronger condemnation of the conflict from our politicians. And back here, our tallest landmark may now be known for something else. A new study from Auckland University has found a unique effect in how people perceive the size of the Sky Tower. Where you'd expect it to look smaller as you get further away, the opposite actually occurs. Associate Professor Sam Swartzkoff says the effect may be in an illusion in relation to other buildings, but more research is needed to understand it properly. I think you're interpreting it to be next to those buildings, and so that might make it appear smaller or bigger, depending on which angle you're looking at. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.